off. Babe, this is such a stupid idea. It looks like Steve has finally realised he's made a mistake. But the roller coaster wedding day isn't over. So you don't want to go around the park? No. But just as Kaylee begins to relax, there's an announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve and Kaylee are going to make a move. Where's who? You find out. <laughs> Does everyone else know where they're going? They will do. Okay. We're going to the next venue, which is Full Park. Oh my god! Full Park again! Um It can't be any worse than it was this morning. You wanna bet? We're going back to Full Park. What? Are we going back to Full Park? We're going back to Full Park. Why? So here we go again. Oh! Fuck off! Babe, this is such a stupid idea. It looks like Steve has finally realised he's made a mistake. But the roller coaster wedding day isn't over. So you don't want to go around the park? No. Everyone's got like cheap Q jumps and everything. Are you joking? Because I thought that a few hours before the meal, everyone's just going to have fun. It's special. I know it's a special place, babe, but we can come here any time. So while the wedding guests are assuming the brace position, Kaylee and Steve head towards the conference centre half a mile away. Could they not have provided us with fucking transport? Like, the stupid thing is fucking falling down. Oh, my God! Transport not a fucking arranged. Look, I'm so sorry. And just when things couldn't possibly get any worse, wow! my heel was broken. <laughs> I just want to go. I just want to go. Get it fixed. I'll go and get them to fix it. I don't want them to see me cry. Oh, no, you haven't. No, you haven't. Just don't understand. I can't believe my fucking heel was broken. <laughs> With Kaylee in tears once again, her wedding day has been a total disaster. Sorry. Don't be. Steve leaves Kaylee to calm down with the guests and runs off to get some glue to fix her shoes. But he knows the damage is already done. I probably made the wrong choice coming here. I didn't think about Kaylee's big dress. I didn't think her shoes were going to break that easily. So I'm a bit annoyed that I've upset my wife on her wedding day. With a little champagne and sympathy, Cinderella has finally regained her composure. But after the roller coaster day from hell, one more disappointment will surely tip her over the edge. And Steve is yet to show her his WAG reception room. But would Wayne give Colleen a chaise long, fake castle turrets and a pink pony? Oh my god! Oh my god, what is that? Chaise long. Oh, babe. Friends. Oh my god, look at the front. Why is there a unicorn? It's a pony. Is it a pony? It doesn't have a horn. Oh. Oh, look at the centerpieces. Oh, so. We did them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The cake. Oh, the cake's perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, baby. Oh, it's perfect. Gold crown, silver crown. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Against all the odds, Steve has managed to give her a tiny bit of the wag wedding she was wishing for. Oh, the baby is perfect. Perfect, I love it. Good, isn't it? It's just amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. Sure. I love you. Love you. Perfect, thank you so much. The wacky decor might be plastic fantastic, but after a day of ruined shoes, rain and roller coasters, Kaylee is relieved. And let's face it, it could have been much worse. Oh, but wait a minute. The only things that I probably would have done differently. Yeah. Never thought to like put the, what are they called? Torrets. The Tourettes? Torrets. Torrets in. <laughs> Tourettes. I'd have never put the Torrets in because I would have just never thought to. 
but I love them. I just sit there wicked, it probably sets off the theme. You have a theme! You thought of a theme! Yep. I'm just so proud of you. I have absolutely no idea how I got away with this. I really just thought I just I just stuffed the whole day up after getting married in this really gorgeous place and then taking a full bark and completely just completely just messing it up really because she didn't want to do anything and I was just I didn't know what to do. I was absolutely crapping myself. Fresh off the rides, the guests are in for another shock. I just, I just, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a I don't really, I don't really know what to say. It's quite flamboyant, isn't it? I'm not sure about the clowns. Well, Kaylee, you did want a wedding people would talk about. I feel like I've accomplished something. I've been, to, I've been to war, I've got middle from Afghanistan, but I feel that's such, so much more of an accomplishment than what I've done. And now apparently she's amazed, so hopefully she, she will come out and give me a big fat kiss. These three weeks have been the hardest weeks of my life without seeing you. And it just made me realise that I never want to spend another day without you. Don't cry. I'm very much looking forward to Katie making all decisions because can't stand making decisions and these three weeks have just proved that. See, exactly. It's not like I'm a diva that says this has to be so and so and so and so. It's just easier because you don't like it. No, yeah, definitely. Exactly. You can make all decisions. I there don't mind that at all. See, so nothing will change. No, that's fine. It's fine by me. Jobs are good in. Yeah, definitely. So I wanted to get married. There. Shut up. And so he finally gets his wannabe wag on the ride. So it'll be over. He's not a footballer and she's not a wag. And he didn't pull off the fairy tale wedding. But at least they got a trophy they can have forever.